students last day we have seen the defined measurement of angle measurement of trigonometric ratios that is uh, 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree and what is the basic thing I told you to remember I told you to remember the all these five values that is five degree values given 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree I told you remember only the sign value I told you to remember only the sign value why sign value because if you remember sign value you will get the cost value how in reverse order if you write you will get the cost value if you remember sign value by reverse order you are getting cost value if you are getting cos value, ratio of sin and cos is the tan value. If you know sin, cos and sin, the ratio of cos and sin is the value of the cot. And the reciprocal of sin is cosec. And reciprocal of cos is sec. And that's the reason I told you that you remember only the value of sin trigonometric ratios of sign and the remember the relation cos is just reverse what was that can you recall the value sin 0 was 0 and cos 90 degrees 0 once again I write sin 0 degree cos 90 degree sin 90 degree cos 0 degree then sin 30 degree equal to cos 60 degree sin 60 degree equal to cos 30 degree and then see here what you are, are you getting that it is cross sin 0 cos 90 cos sin 90 cos 0 sin 30 cos 60 sin 60 cos 30 but sin sin 45 degree equal to cos 45 degree so remember my dear students in exam one more question or multiple choice question used to come that for what value of theta for what value of theta sin and cos value will remain same for what value of theta cos and sine will be same so suppose if you remember see that sine theta sine theta suppose theta represent 45 degree that means sine 45 degree equal to cos 45 degree equal to 1 by 2 sine 45 degree equal to cos 45 degree equal to 1 by 2 so remember one thing in exam if multiple choice question will come there will be all the options will be there 0 degree, 90 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree which will be the answer? answer will be 45 degree similarly if you see all these there will be one more question for what value of theta and gamma cos and sine will be same if the values lies between 0 degree and 90 degree if theta lies between 0 and 90 degree that is suppose theta greater than 0 less than 90 degree for what value of theta or under what condition of theta sine and cos will be equal 1 is 45 degree or sine 30 degree equal to cos 60 degree 
if if suppose theta and alpha sin theta it should be equal to cos alpha if 45 degree then both should be same if it will be 30 and 60 then it will be different see sin 60 degree cos 30 degree so if theta is 60 degree alpha will be 90 degree theta is 30 degree because sum of theta and alpha sum of theta and alpha is should be equal to 90 degree clear and also this fulfill this condition so this one I have not given other day, but this thing I have given. Now, already I told you what is the application. What is the application? Application that with the use of these values we can solve the equation. And what you can use in your day to day life? In your day to day life, suppose you want to measure the height of the tower. Because nowadays you know. To measure a length, it is not necessary that you have to take a measuring tape and measure it. Now this ray is there. You are, if I am standing here and I, if I uh, switch on the ray, the ray will go to the next wall and it will show me that what is the distance. Similarly, suppose you want to see the height of a tower. So simple thing that with this using of the trigger matrix of that values, angle values, we can measure that. So that is the long term objective. And short term objective is that, that at present, at present, what you are going to do? At present you are going to do that you have, by using this, you can solve your equations. Clear? Okay, so let's see. Let us start with the exercise. Last day I have given a few examples. Now, today, I'll start with the exercise. So, let's see. Now, your book exercise 8.2. Book exercise 8.2. What is the first question? First question, 1, Roman 1, is that sine 60 degree cos 30 degree sin 30 degree cos 60 degree equal to what? it is root 3 by 2 what did I say? sin 30 equal to cos 60 sin 60 equal to cos 30 so see here you see so whether do you need to buy up this Values, no, you just remember the value of sign, then it is very easy to remember. But if you want to by heart as a whole, then it may be that you cannot remember all, or you may be confused. So that's the reason I told you that better you remember only sign and remember the re relation. Because that re remembering those relations will be a great help for in your future as well if you study maths in a higher class. Now this is the one, then let's the next one that's seeing that is Roman 5. 1 Roman 5. What is that? 5 cos square 60 degree. 4 sec square 30 degree minus 10 square 45 degree divided by sine square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree now one thing is that one thing is that what was the value of sine square theta plus cos square theta? Sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. See, see, 
Here, sine square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree. Let's see. We'll put the value and we'll check. So, first, 5 into uh, half square plus 4 into now cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Sec 30 to y root 3 whole square minus 1 square divided by 1 by 2 square plus root 3 by 2 whole square. Then what is that? See 5 by 4 plus 16 by 3 minus 1 and this side 1 by 2 plus 3 by 4. Then what did you get? You take the LCM. LCM is what? 12. So 5 into 3 plus 16 into 4 minus 12 divided by 12. And then down is how much? Here it is 4, my dear student, I wrongly I have written 1 plus 3 divided by 4. I think you have already written this part, so I rub this part and I proceed this side, okay? Then you see, what is that? See, this is 12, this is 4, now 15, 15, 64 and 12. 15 plus 64 minus 12 divided by 12, 4 by 4. 4 by 4 is 1. And 12, uh, 64 plus, plus 15. How much it is? 79. 79 minus 12, 67. So 67, 67 by, by 12. This is the answer of this question. So my dear student, here I'll tell you one thing. Please be careful of the calculation because calculation generally most of and we used to see the students are in a hurry to do the mistake. Suppose here, instead of 12, you know, some of you may write 3. So please be careful for that. So this is 1 to 1, 5. Now let's see question number 2 to 1, 1. Now let's see question number 2 to Roman 1. Now what is that? 2, 10, 30 degree divided by 1 plus 10 square 30 degree. Actually, this is the formula uh, you will get in a higher classes. This is the formula of 10 f plus b. Suppose if it is 10 f plus b, instead of a plus b, if it is 10 twice a, that means 10 a plus a, then this is the formula. I will write it down. Let me do the equation and then I will write it down. I hope you have copied this part. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> then see. What is the value of 10 30 degree? Sine 30 degree by cos 30 degree. So it is 1 by 2, 3. So whenever you write down the value, whenever you write down the value, just you recall what is the ratio of sine? Okay, what is the ratio of 10? 10 is the ratio of sine and cos. So automatically you can get. So 1 plus 1 by root 3 whole square. Then what is that? 2 by root 3. Then 1 plus 1 by 3. 1 plus 1 by 3. So, what is that? If you take the LCM, what is the LCM? What is the LCM? LCM is 3. So, see, in numerator there is no change. It is root 3. So, 3 plus 1 by 3. So, ultimately, it will be 2 root 3 by 4 by 3. So 3 and root 3 will be cancelled. So it will be it will be 1 and here it will be root 3. And 2 and 4 will be cancelled. It will be 2. So I will do what is that? Root 3 by 2. Now root 3 by 2. Trigonometric which value? 
is root 3 by 2. Either sin 30, 60 degree root 3 by 2 or cos 30 degree root 3 by 2. Then you have to see your option. Which option is available? It is cos 60, obviously not possible. Sin 60, 10, uh, 10 60, sin 30. So B, C, D not possible. Which is the option? Option is A. So this is the option. Okay. This is sin. Sin. So your option is A because why root 3 by 2 equal to sin 60 degree. So this is your answer. This is your answer. Clear? So it may be multiple choice. It may be like here. It may be two mark question also. Then my dear when I told, before doing this question, I told you that it is a formula of 10 a plus b. See, 10 a plus b. Though it will be not needed right at this moment, but in your longer run, it may be needed because if you study maths in high school or high classes, then it will be needed. So then what is that? It is 10 a plus 10 b divided by 1 minus 10a into 10b. Now you see, if we replace b also by a, then 10a plus 10a twice 10a, and 10a into 10a is 10 squared a, and this is the thing. So please, my dear student, those you think that yes, I have studied maths in higher classes, please write it down this one. So, which will be helpful, okay? In Sanskrit, there is a quote that Adhigantu no dushaya. That means if you know little extra, it is not the arm. It is not the arm. Provided you have to know whether you are going to use it, okay? Now, let's the next one that uh, Two Roman three, I don't know. Two Roman three. Now before I do two Roman three, like this one, I will give one more formula. This is one formula you have written. This one you are not using. But whatever I will give now, that one you have to use. See, sign twice a. Two sign a. Cos a. 2 sin a cos a. Sin twice a equal to 2 sin a cos a. And this is the formula will be used in question number 2 Roman 3. So let's see. 2 Roman 3. What is that? Sin twice a equal to 2 sin a. Sin twice a equal to 2 sin a. Then already I have written, please write down this formula, sin a twice sin a cos a equal to 2 sin a. 2 to cancel. So ultimately cos a equal to 1. Yes or not? Cos a because sin a sin a equal to take common also. Then it will be 1 minus cos a. So 1 minus cos a equal to 0. Ultimately cos a equal to 1. Now for cos a, what value is 1? Cos a 0 degree. So, see cos a equal to cos 0 degree. That means a equal to 0 degree. Then only it will be possible. See, now which is the option? Please you check. Option will be a. Here also option a. Now, just you verify whether the answer is correct or not. See, sine twice a, so a is 0. 2 into 0, 0. So sine 0 is 0. 2 into sine 0 degree. Sine 0 is 0, 2 into 0 is 0. So your answer is correct, very bad. Now, the Roman 4 and Roman 2, Roman 1 is same. Now, question number 3 I give. Question number 3. Question number 3, let's see. Remember, this is another very, very important question. Very, very important question, my dear students. 
uh, because quite many times you will get in your uh, exam. So very very important exam, it will be two mark exam or maybe three mark exam but not four mark exam. So 10A plus B, 10A plus B equal to root 3. So 10A plus B, what value is the root 3? 10, 60 degree. 10, 60 degree value is root 3. So ultimately, A plus B equal to 60 degree. This is question number 1. And then, what is the another one? 10A minus B. 10, A minus B equal to 1 by root 3. Now, what value 10, what value 10, 1 by root 3? It is, it is 10, 10, 30 degree. Because sine 30 is half, cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So, 2 to cancel, 1 by root 3. So, ultimately, A minus B equal to 30 degree. Now, can you solve it? Can you solve it? By which method? Can you tell me? Can you recall by which method? It is by the method of elimination method. You can solve it. Okay? So this is the end of that exercise 8.2 and question number 4 we will try to do. Because this formula uh, that just like a 10A plus B I have given. Please you try. Next day we will see. Now before I wind up the class, let me discuss what we have done. Today we have studied the application of the trigonometric different angle values. Then also we have seen what is the formula of that 10 a plus b sine twice a and how to use it. And then also we have seen that how to verify my answer whether it is correct or not. Clear? So this is the verification I have shown. This is here I have shown that 10a plus b, 10a plus 10b divided 1 minus 10a, 10b and then sign twice a. Okay? So with this, I will wind up my class but before I go, I will tell you one thing. My dear student, please only go through sign all the five different measurement values. Okay? So till that time, bye bye. Thank you.